Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. I just wanted to run through an updated application on one of my favorite devices that I have. I have the new T-Mobile My Touch 3G in the uh, Merlot color. And one of the most powerful applications I've been using um, since May, I believe, is uh, Documents to Go. Now, the Documents to Go before was priced at $20 and included a Word and Excel uh, program that was almost like a desktop program as far as uh, creation, editing, and then all of the features that were in there such as track changes and everything else that you wouldn't expect on a mobile platform. Well, today they released version 2.0 which adds some more functionality to the device. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off this overhead light. And then get a little closer. As you can see, the icon there is the Documents to Go, the latest icon. And if I tap on it, we'll launch the new kind of interface on the application here. As you can see, there's Word to Go and Sheet to Go, which were all that we had before. And there are some improvements there as far as some scrolling improvements, uh, word count in a Word to Go, um, some insertion improvements, and just kind of overall improvements and things in both of those applications and I'll kind of show you those in, in a minute as well um, but now we see we have slideshow to go and PDF to go slideshow to go is their PowerPoint application so if I tap on that right there uh, I don't want to open a previous one so when you first launch it of course you can see that there's uh, some previously opened documents I'm going to go ahead and just show you real quickly uh, create a new document so this is what it starts off by default with the first slide title and the second slide title. If we go down here to the menu, you can see there's uh, several options. There's file and that has, you know, save as, open, close, send as email, that kind of thing. There's also edit, which lets you edit, paste, delete a slide, or go to a slide sorter view and view, you can view, zoom in, slide view, notes, next slide, go to slide, bounce around the document, that kind of thing. Insert, you can insert a slide, a duplicate slide, or a new bullet item. These are really kind of designed for fairly basic uh, PowerPoint slideshows, you know, where you have different bullets and, and different lead articles and things like that. As you can see in the format, there's just some indentation formatting. And then in more, we've got some preferences and file properties. So it's not like uh, you're going to create one with animations and images and all this kind of stuff. But it does give you uh, pretty basic creation. Personally, I rarely ever have done this on a mobile device. What I use my the PowerPoint functionality for is to practice a, a presentation before I go on a trip or something like that. And it's also nice to have in case you find something on a, uh, on a particular presentation and you need to uh, do some editing at the last minute. So here's just a view of the what, what one you create would look like. I'll go to another uh, actual one in just a minute. So that's just kind of, let me just go to, uh, I'm not sure what this one is. Let's just see what it is. A little slideshow we had about motor mobile tech roundup as you can see the three hosts there so that's kind of a view you tap on it you can go to the menu and then edit it and, and do things like that with the PowerPoint slideshow so let's take a look at the other new part which is the PDF viewer now this is what I was actually kinda of surprised when I bought my uh, G1 that there was no PDF, PDF viewer on the device at all so now Dataviz has uh, integrated this into the documents to go product so you do get a full PDF viewer and I'm kind of surprised I thought there was an open one so let me just show you the other part now if we I have added this folder called documents and if I tap on that it shows me the recently used so this you could add right to your home screen for your recently used applications uh, or documents and then jump right into them and I thought I had a power I had a PDF on there I must not have saved that. So let me uh, go into Gmail and get a PDF and I'll be right back. So PDFs are very popular from what I receive in emails and things like that. So this is what a PDF looks like. You can pop it over into uh, landscape mode as well. 
and then back to portrait. So if you just tap on it, you'll see you can uh, you can easily zoom in to the content there. And zoom in and out. Now if you go to the menu, you can see there's a file for saving again, sending via email, that kind of thing. There's also edit, so you can actually select text or search for text. If I do select, use the trackball if you want, or you can use your finger and then you push it and it copies it to the clipboard, so then you can paste it in somewhere else if you wanted to, which is really slick. For view, you can uh, wrap word wrap, which is nice if you're if you're looking at a, a document that you just want to look at the text and don't care about the formatting. Word wrap is really cool because you can see how fast it is and you can just get through the content without having to worry about all the formatting and tables and everything else that's going on. Word wrap or page view. And you can see it switches pretty fast between those transitions. There's also some bookmarks and zooming. And when you go to more, there's file properties, check for updates. So it's a pretty basic viewer, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty fluid. And uh, I really like the word wrap functionality for getting through the content. So let's see, that's about it for the new documents to go with the Android platform. And um, yeah, there's, there's a few updates that I put in my blog post for the word in the sheet. And uh, just a great product. Now, uh, if you previously purchased it, it's a free update. If you didn't, you have to pay the full 30 And another part is uh, the Word and Sheet to Go viewers are free for Android users. So if you don't have a viewer for Word and Excel files, you can at least download this for free. So uh, good job to Dataviz on this product.